What's going on, man? Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Just head over to the Repcon test site west of here. See if you can get the ghouls out of there. Yeah, see ya. Welcome. Come on in.
east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Big room, metal staircase, east side of the building. Is that too many syllables for you? Get moving. Skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the great war, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Do 
the demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. that antler we have a visitor an assassin more like i say kill it antler for safe sake hmm okay antler i'll ask uh hi human why you come here i am in command of my faculties in command of my troops Antler guides me in all things, as I, in turn, guide my kin. Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Cut it out, human. Serious. Final warning. Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without master was hard. The other's minds going strange, going crazy. But then I found us new master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going 
really well. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told him stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot, and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I lock the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. You're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass. Instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. Then I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. A stash of stealth boys? Are you kidding me? If there was some big stash of devices in here that made you invisible, do you really think we'd be having this conversation? The only thing you'll find up here is a bullet hole between your eyes. Got any better ideas? I killed them on sight. 
So we haven't had much time to get acquainted. They're hard to see, obviously. But they are too smart when it comes to tactics. Or not stepping in traps. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay.
Did you find my friend? I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. Is Stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Is the way clear? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there.
You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversum. He likes machines. Haversum won't mind getting irradiated. Haversum won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversum won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversum. You're neurotic. Bald. You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules the igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly that's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad it's no longer potent enough i need you to find an intact shielded container of the igniting agent as for the thrust control modules they were custom built for these rockets they won't even launch without them All right. Anything else? All right. What would you rather be doing? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Bye.
there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Pleasure doing business with you. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Certainly did. Hubby and me had an old rad meter to help us tell the difference between what you could salvage and what'd kill you. I kept a glowing container from Repcon around here for years, serving no better purpose than a nightlight. Damn thing wouldn't sell. Then along comes the most peculiar looking fellow, all decked out in a yellow radiation suit, of which he was proud all out of proportion. The man outright asked if I had anything radioactive for sale. Imagine that. But he paid handsome for that jar of goop. Only saw him that once. He said something about heading over to Clark Field to put his suit through its paces. A strange one he was. Take care now. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. I, uh, well, I don't really know. Would that sour you on buying one if it did? Really? I never thought I'd see the day. I mean, the day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding in. But I like you. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store.
Okay, I admit it. They've been collecting dust since before I got here. You can have them dirt cheap. Sure thing. Have a look. Come back soon now. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything.
everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Evening. Hello. Evening. Hey.
you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Later. God, you're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh no, how could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke. Then bring me sugar bombs. Three boxes should do the trick. Add those to the fuel mixture and boom! I'll show those rotten ghouls, and they'll know exactly who did them in. I'll mix the sugar bombs into the fuel mixture before they launch. They'll never suspect a thing. Until it's too late. But first, I'll need the other parts we talked about. To sabotage the rockets, I'll still need to get them ready for launch. I still need a quantity of the igniting agent and the thrust control modules. For the fuel source, any shielded nuclear waste should do the trick. That's why we can't use the waste on the launch pad. Too much decay. As for the computer parts, the thruster control systems aren't complicated, so any good mix of components is all I need. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules and three boxes of sugar bombs. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. You already found the igniting agent, so all I need now is three boxes of sugar bombs. I'll mix the sugar bombs into the fuel mixture before they launch. They'll never suspect a thing until it's too late.
Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. The rockets are ready, Jason. Ready to carry you and your little clan on the great journey. Bon voyage. Hello. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. <laughs> 